Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick video here for you guys. It's going to be probably a week or two before I put out another video. Uh, we're actually, my wife and I are heading to v uh, Vegas for vacation next week. Uh, we're really excited to do that, so probably won't be able to do much with videos during that time. Uh, it's been about a year and a half since the wife and I have been able to take a vacation since our daughter's been born. It's uh, just been uh, too chaotic around the house in order for us to be able to get out for any extended period of time. So we're really excited to get out to Vegas and do a little bit of relaxing. Uh, it's probably our fifth or sixth trip out to Vegas. We really enjoy going out there. Uh, the flights getting there and the hotels uh, while you're there are very reasonable. So it's always a, a very um, reasonable cost vacation if you're going to go to the Vegas area. Um, we've done pretty much all the major types of tourist things that you can really do in the Vegas area, Hoover Dam, you know, all the, the strip and all that good stuff. If any of you guys live in Vegas or, uh, you know, frequent Vegas quite a bit, then you have a, a suggestion perhaps that would be uh, something that my wife and I would be interested in doing while we're out there. I'd love to hear it. Uh, there's so much to do in Vegas, it's really hard to find everything in one spot that uh, you can read about or... Uh, learn about uh, to be able to do out there so having some first-hand experience or suggestions would be very much appreciated uh, the other reason I wanted to put out this video was because I made a couple upgrades to this uh, 1522 rifle by Smith & Wesson um, I had a few extra pieces laying around from other projects that I was uh, gonna be using for them but um, for one reason or another haven't haven't gotten to putting these on that particular project or decided against using these for the other projects uh, so I just kind of went through my box of uh, extra pieces and parts and threw a few onto this rifle just to make it a little bit more comfortable while I'm using it. Uh, one of the upgrades that I did here was the Magwell grip, and this is by Fab Defense, uh, model number MWG. Uh, this one I originally bought for the 1522P, which is the pistol version of this rifle, uh, but being that it's considered a forward grip, even though the thumb can't wrap around it, I was a little concerned about putting that on there and still being within the ATF regulations uh, that they have on, on pistols. So um, I know a lot of people, including myself, uh, view these angled foregrip, uh, foregrips as non-vertical foregrips where your thumb can't wrap around it and therefore are able to be used on a pistol. Uh, and the Magwell grip is kind of the same thing, being that your thumb can't wrap fully around it. Um, technically, I don't think it would be an issue putting it in on a pistol, but again, I was just a little leery about that, so decided not to do that. Uh, in order to fit the 1522P, I did have to do a ton of dremeling on this uh, inside housing in order to it, for it to fit around the uh, magwell of the of the rifle. So these AR-15s uh, or AR-15s uh, are a little bit, uh, I think, smaller in the frame size here, the lower receiver than what the 1522P uh, or 1522 rifle is. So uh, I did the maximum amount of dremeling on the inside of this housing, uh, it's, as well as to try to keep that, you know, maintain that uh, structural integrity. Uh, but I was able to get it on there, and it does uh, work pretty well, as you can see. It's uh, it's on there, nice and tight. It isn't going anywhere. Uh, I did have to loosen the screws a bit so it's not fully tightened in there, um, but it, the magazine itself as it's going in there was a little bit tight, so I had to loosen that up a little bit, and it's still probably a little bit looser than a lot of people would not like, but uh, it definitely goes in and out without any issue. I can't drop the magazine free like I normally was able to before, but that's, that's probably okay. Um, but overall, I really like this. You know, when you're in a prone position, this spot on the rifle is really comfortable for me when I'm doing long distance shooting. So uh, I really do like these Magwell grips. I know it's got kind of a mixed opinions out there on these things, but I really do like it. It adds virtually no weight to the, the rifle. Uh, and the other nice thing is that the uh, Magwell grip, as you can see, opens up uh, or flares the Magwell itself on the rifle. So it gives you a little bit of a funneling effect to be able to get that mag in there, which will help in tactical reload type situations. Uh, not a huge plus, but uh, it definitely does the trick. The other thing I put on there was the angled foregrip. This was one that I had purchased uh, for my Draco C pistol, and I do have a, a letter from the ATF that says I can use it on there, so I wasn't really concerned about that. But uh, with the recoil of that, it was it was just kind of uncomfortable having this on there. Uh, when it jumped back, it was just, you know, your thumb would hit this, and it just wasn't very comfortable. I didn't like it that much. I'd rather wrap my hand around the rail on that Draco. So uh, I took that off there, put it on here, and it uh, makes a really nice uh, forward grip for this 1522 rifle. doesn't add a whole lot of weight around it, and you're still able to get a good hand around the whole rail system, which is really nice. Uh, in addition to that, because I was going to be wrapping my hand around the rail, uh, I found a 
couple of these rail covers that I bought for my AR-15 as well but never used and it really just protects the rails itself and it's just a, a plastic guide here that uh, fits between the rails themselves and there isn't much to it but it is a, a rail cover I guess is what it would be considered and I can't really even get it off right now it's on there real good uh, but it gives it a little bit of a gr uh, rubber feel instead of that hard uh, well in this case plastic uh, feel which can sometimes hurt your hands if you got a little bit of recoil or something so that just gives it a little bit more of a comfort level for me I got one on either side uh, it doesn't uh, expand the rails out at all so you're not adding any uh, width or anything to the the size of the the rail system or your hand area so uh, overall that's a pretty good upgrade uh, and that that's pretty much it guys uh, I put those few things on there and haven't gotten out to the range yet to test out how everything works but these are pretty easy upgrades and uh, they really don't affect the operation per se of the rifle so I don't expect it to be a problem probably just uh, uh, like I said a more comfort way of shooting this particular rifle so that's pretty much it guys uh, just a few upgrades that I made to this 1522 rifle and uh, I will be, like I said, heading out to Vegas, so you probably won't hear from me for a, a week or possibly two if with any more videos, but uh, if anything cool happens or if I get any good videos out in Vegas, I'll be happy to share those with you guys. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate you watching, and until next time, take it easy.